Hi, I'm Hannah Jackson and I'm here with ITS International reporting from the Vision Show 2014 from Stuttgart, Germany. Over the next three days, I'll be checking out the latest developments in the machine vision industry, specifically the traffic sector, just like this driverless car. Welcome back, I'm here with the editor of ITS International, Colin Soman. So I know it's only the first day, but how are you enjoying the show so far? Seems to be shaping up very well, it's starting to get busy down there and having had a quick look round there's, there's a few innovations around there that could be very useful to the traffic industry. Fantastic, now I also saw you checking out the solar roof, tell me about that. Well there's a big solar roof next to the uh, exhibition here. Um, and solar energy is quite important for the traffic industry because it means they can uh, have signs and cameras that are many miles from any power source because they can harvest the sun and use it that way rather than having to embed a cable along miles and miles of the side of the road. So what's the importance of machine vision in the traffic sector? Machine vision is increasingly being used in the traffic sector to do things like uh, incorporate in smart traffic lights so they know how many people are waiting to cross and they will vary the, the red phase depending on how many people are crossing and systems that can count how many people are in a car to be able to install high occupancy lanes which are uh, increasingly being used to cut congestion. Amazing, well let's go and check it all out. Welcome to Stuttgart. My name is Florian Niethammer. I'm project manager of the Vision Show. Um, Vision Show 2014 just opened its gates. Um, we're happy to welcome um, 432 companies. It's a new um, exhibitor record. Um, it's um, increased by 16% compared to the show in 2012. This time it's, it's more than 50% more than of our companies come from abroad, with a major share coming from the US, um, the UK, um, also China and, and Japan. One of the major highlights at this, show, this year's show is um, Traffic Vision. Um, we partnered up with um, ITS International um, from UK because we think um, traffic, the traffic and transportation sector is one of the most growing um, sectors for the vision industry. And that's why we decided to highlight all of those products um, which are relevant to the traffic sector. I'm here with Eric Ramsden at the Luminera stall. So what are you seeing in the traffic industry at the moment? So in the traffic industry, we're seeing uh, customers that are looking to replace existing solutions, outdated solutions. And of course, when they're doing this, they're looking to cost reduce. So uh, there are solutions that Luminera provides that allow them to do cost reduction, um, ensuring that their deployments are cost effective and very reliable, uh, replacing DSLR cameras, for example. You've got electronic shutters, high reliability, cameras, thousands of cameras deployed for uh, eight or more years. So uh, Luminera does have the solutions for the ITS industry. And what is this camera you're holding at the moment? So this particular camera here is our LT16059H camera. It has uh, larger pixels for high dynamic range, which is critical uh, for the ITS industry because they're trying to um, deal with lighting situations where they've got glare, uh, low light conditions. Um, they've also got uh, um, weather conditions, whether it be snow, whether it be summer, there's uh, a wide range of, of weather conditions that they need to be able to uh, capture. And what's this little one? So this is our uh, LT425 uh, camera. It's a high-speed CMOS camera. We've got CCD variants of these as well that run up to 12 megapixels. So that's uh, really critical for applications where they're looking to reduce the number of cameras. If they do need multiple cameras, uh, it's very easy to tether these together um, and ensure a tight integration for uh, multi-camera deployments. All in that tiny little camera? All in this tiny little camera. Amazing. Even the advertisers are getting in on the technology act. Hey, this is my scene. Go on. Honestly, this is what it's about. 
I'm about to talk to the CEO of Tatelay and find out what they have on offer for the traffic industry. Tatelay is an Italian company made out of 75 people, half of them working in the R&D area, developing cameras for several applications and image analysis software. There is a close synergy between the two industries because definitely traffic utilizes the same technologies as the industrial and all the implementation done in the industrial division can be also utilized for play to reading in the ENPR industry. So definitely there is a close relationship and a bright future. And we definitely have an advantage having both technologies and competencies. But in this moment we use uh, the, the, the core activities uh, for focused on the mobile uh, read, play to reading for police applications. So we developed, based on industrial technologies, we developed this mobile ENPR uh, play to reader and actually is a very sophisticated and a very performant product for traffic application. Elsewhere, Kioptic has introduced the MeViz CF range of lenses for use in harsh conditions, anything from snowstorms to hurricanes. The lenses are designed for use with sensors up to 1 inch and come in a range of fixed focal lengths between 12 and 50 mm with an aperture of f1.6 or 1.8. Here at the On Semiconductor stand is the company's latest 5 megapixel camera, which is suited to many uses in transport applications. Working at 100 frames per second and featuring a global shutter with an efficiency of 99.987%, it produces high dynamic range images of fast moving objects. On the Vision Boxes stand, the company is putting the spotlight on its powerful embedded computers and their real-time communication controllers, which are ideal for time-critical tasks. Their low power consumption allows them to be used with battery packs or solar power, making installation easier and quicker. I'm here at Vision Components with Jan Eric Schmidt. So we're looking at a product here that's been around for years. So what's the new application? Mainly it really looks like it was around for many years, but what we did is to optimize an ALPR software to run on an embedded platform. That's the main thing. Most of the existing softwares are running on a PC, so a heavy load systems, and we optimize this kind of software to run on an embedded platform in an optimized way. So no need of an external PC, everything is standalone and decentralized. So this board is designed to have two cameras, why is that? So the second head is for license recognition, you very often need for night vision infrared illumination. For this you need a monochrome sensor to have the highest resolution possible. But in some countries for day applications, you also need the color information of the car. So what we do, we use the full resolution of the monochrome sensor and add a second color sensor to have the additional color information. So does this mean you've got even more information being sent through the network cables now? No, no, it's just the opposite way because it's much less. Normally if you're just sending image data to a server, you send about 25, 30 frames per second, all images that you don't need. What we do, we just send the images with the license plate red, but it's maybe just one of the 30 frames per second. It's much lower load on the network. Well, that's the end of the first day here at the show. We've seen loads of different brands and new emerging technologies from Luminera, Tatale and Vision Components. But that's just a taster of what we've got coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned and see you soon. Yeah, uh, take me to the pub.